Historical Colonial Mental Health Services in New France and Quebec, Canada. Author, doctoral dissertation PhD by AST Professor of Psychiatry, Western, University, London, Canada, Dr. Samuel Sussman. This is an excerpt from it, link in the video description he goes on to state but it is amazing to reflect that although the superiority of the human mode of treating the insane inaugurated nearly a century ago has been again, and again demonstrated and has been widely adopted through the civilized world, a colony of England. So remarkable for its progress and intelligence as Canada can present such a spectacle as I have so inadequately described as existing in the year of grace 1884, in the Montreal Asylum. Tuch also mentions the excessive use of restraints and the lack of power vested in the government visiting physician. Tuch's findings and condemnatory writings led to the Medical Chirurgical Society of Montreal passing a series of resolutions supporting Dr. Tuch's observations and calling upon the government to investigate the situation and to bring about a solution to the obvious problem. In 1885, an act was passed which, although not changing the contract system, placed the medical control of the asylums under government supervision to the extent that the government appointed the medical superintendent and assistant physicians in all the asylums in that province. In 1887, a royal commission found that conditions at Beauport Asylum were worse than those in other countries. In 1893, the proprietary contract was not renewed and Beauport was transferred to the Sisters of Charity in Quebec. Still compared to the rest of Canada, the contracting out system was also unique in that it established a partnership between the government and religious orders in the care of the mentally ill which was not duplicated in any other province of Canada. Notwithstanding the criticisms levied against this system, the contracting out system should not be viewed as the sole or primary source of the deleterious features of the system in Quebec. The lack of adequate resources, human, fiscal and physical, militated against a humane institutional approach in this province, as well as in the other provinces of Canada. In 1881, Fred Berry, a well-known citizen of Montreal, was instrumental in securing an act to incorporate the Protestant Hospital for the Insane in the legislature of the province of Quebec. The notion of a separate institution for the Protestants of the province of Quebec is credited to Fred Perry. Due to his disillusionment with the farming out system and the custodial nature of care given by the various religious orders in the province, according to Heard, Perry, a man of strong will, energy and purpose, resolved that at least the Protestant community should be freed from both the farming out system and the custodial system operating in the province of Quebec. Around 1875, Perry had begun to devote his energy to the task of a Protestant institution. In 1881, the act was passed and the hospital admitted its first patient on July 15, 1890 and 140 were admitted before the end of the year. This hospital had a board of governors, composed of Protestants, who constituted the management authority of this hospital. In 1924 the hospital changed its name from the Verdun Protestant Hospital for the Insane to the Verdun Protestant Hospital and in 1965 to Douglas Hospital after the previously mentioned Dr. James Douglas. I would like to end this article on a lighter historical note. In 1885, protests had been made by farmers owning land surrounding the proposed site of the Protestant Hospital who feared that their livestock might catch mental illness from the patients.